But it's still the problem of this tide hunter basically being completely left alone in the jungle and them not really shutting down the shadow feed. 14 and 18 currently. Dark light. Um, top lane. Got out. Oh my god, no, I missed it! Bottom lane! A quick little kill. Yeah, not, that'll happen. That's a tough one. It's one of the nice parts about this, and kind of one of the problems that we've talked about is that, de like, Disruptor is just not going to be an effective enough off lane. Oh, good recognition right there as well. By the clockwork, can't even glimpse him away right now because he was standing there that entire time. Finds the kill really well played there by the clockwork and not even going to get killed off as Blade Free was able to find that kill. And it just, and again, sort of harkens back to what we're talking about. Like, who is, who's going to do damage in these early lanes for newbie? I just don't see them being able to do it. Oh, you gotta be careful right now. Blocked in from all sides, and well, Axe gonna stop, take some damage. Doesn't even get off the pit of Alice and will go down yet again. Really well played up by Shelter. Using the Lucid Beam to break the pit of Malice before it could come out, and... Six minutes in. The Seder is going to do so much work. Like, Shelter, they're just going to be able to tear down this tower. I don't know how you stop this push at this point. Because uh, they're, they're going to bring in the Tide also. Yeah, there is just no freaking way. Eclipse comes down. Everybody is dying. And they have completely left this off lane on an island. Wrong in this one. And the Dominator Luna really going to cause some issues. Well, maybe now there's a chance to find a kill. There is the Pit of Malice as well as the Firestorm. A couple more right clicks might be enough to find a kill. It should be hitting pretty hot right now, okay. But was going to just be able to TP out with the Grave, so it wouldn't have mattered. But the rotation, smoke in. Shelter as well as Sola. I'll take that. If they head mid, if they kill off Ferrari right now, Ferrari has to know something is up, but he's gonna move forward with the Lucid Beam coming out as well as the Ravage. There's no way he's out of there. Ferrari goes down again. Another hero from Newbie taken. Good. I've been very impressed with their play so far. They're yeah, bringing in a Seder Banisher, just looking to find anybody, and fortunate situation is that Zhao is here. If they run into him, there's the jump forward. Hook is going to come out as well. He is going to get a spin off trying to go for the TP. Do they have enough damage to bring him down? No, they do not. So that was a lot of time and energy expended to try and find that kill in the rotation. Ogre needs to be careful, but they've already used Hook, so yeah, with just that, they're going to be able to back back out and no way to stop it. Good stuff. Uh, glimpse. Shelter in some trouble. Maybe he does have a fire blast. That TP is going to be broken. Don't. Maybe going to go down. They don't quite have the damage. It does work. Um. Oh my God! The blink reveal. Holy crap! That was a ton of damage. Sola takes him down immediately. Axes. Still going to be there in the pit of Malice is going to contain Shelter, and Shelter now is going to go down. A really good combination of play. He actually does get grazed up and won't end up dying, and the tons of damage coming out will kill off the Underlord. Shelly barely walks away from that one. They take down the Ogre. Another blink forward. Sola on this Tide Hunter with the biggest blink reveal of his life. It's a huge Ravage, and it ends up working out well. Ravage is down for another 70 seconds, so there's a chance that they could contest if that happened. But you look at this right now, they're just kind of running down lanes together. I guess that they expect that they're going to be able to fight with this one. Yeah, but now with Weave on top of them as well, they really need to be careful. Solo is going to be up front center. Clockwork hooks in, connects on a Tron. He is dropping low, not dead as of yet. They threw out the static storm and are starting to kill off Shelter, but the Grave coming in, they're not going to be able to get the kill. Again, it's just like these little movements where you get small skirmishes, don't fully commit for it, and... It's a real big problem now. I mean, everybody's down bottom, so if they need to, they'll be able to take this tier two. They're trying to bait FTD Club A back into defending this, and they are going to do that, but... I mean, it's going to be baiting new at this point. There's a glimpse away. Fine. 
has still been taking it. Do they just not stop and cannot hold, have apps to try and hold? Like, she's pinging. They, she can't stop this push. And nobody else is here to come back and help at this point. Uh, this is a really big problem. All right, we'll see if Sol is able to jump it again. They're in a really good rapid. He has a blink off cooldown. At any point, they could go for this if they want to. And there is the jump for Ravage on the two. Xiao Wei is going to be able to walk with him. Oh, he does end up going down. And there's the over as well. They're just all dropping. I don't know what the hell the director was thinking with this one, but this draft is just not meant to win. What the hell? Just anything goes. And then last but not least, of course, is Chuan, who was playing for Newbie, where it was heavily built around, you know, his, some of his movement early on and, and being able to find it, and also playing around the offlaner KP. So they all have different styles of Dota 2 that they're coming from. And I, they need to figure out what works for them best as a team. And this movement, it's just not going to be good. Yeah, they got the purge there on the ogre. It is time to bail. You do not want to hang out here. They've killed off the ogre already. Could find more. They are going for the dark rift away. Can't you get the rest of the team into it? Tinker is not going to be plot in. Oh, boy. Thankfully, is able to get the blink out. But... Oh my god, this could still end up being a kill. He's gonna have another purge there. Zhao Wei is forced to jump back in, trying to save Ferrari, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Static Storm down on the two. Tron is gone. They're going to TP back into this, and they do end up finding a couple more kills activated to try it already, so no more uh, HP coming from that. It ends up working out okay, but man, oh man, was it sloppy. That was not what needed to happen, but damage to deal with this and there's ways for it to work but it is rough oh god and a four-man smoke ravage up and available yet again if they get into a big engagement and now they're looking for axe trying to find her the chase is going to continue pit of malice is there they have caught with the clockwork and there's just no way out for her but by and large, that's not the worst hero to take down at this point. Ah, uh, no, it probably is, actually. It's one of the worst ones. Taker would probably be the absolute worst, but it really is not good. They kill off the ogre with the illusions of the Shadow Fiend as he walks away. Ah, uh, this, is, this is really tough. Starting to take down the melee, jump forward, blink, ravage, it only hits onto one, a good blink away from Ferrari, but the disruptor is gone, so their ability, like, nobody has buyback at this stage. This game could honestly be over, if not for the tier 2 towers. Go one of two ways with it. Radiance middle tower is under attack. So Zhao Wei is going to... Radiant Trying to take down this tower here. Tidehunter. 80 seconds until Ravage is back up. She can't think that can give her. She's just gonna head back in, alright. This kind of malice is going to be able to contain the Tidehunter. Static Storm a little bit off the mark. They are going to throw out the Reckless Souls. A lot of damage is going to be dealt out. Dirty Oak on the back line is able to connect onto a couple of them. Now he decides he needs to get out of there. Axe is probably going to go down here. They've already lost three. Tinker is dead. The Ogre is gone. Zhao Wei, run for the hills. The rest of your team is dead. No Omni Slash used. And this one could be curtains at this stage. Like, if you have to buy back on the Taker at this point in the game, it is, like, it is just not worth it. And yeah, they just decided to go for the tier fours. They're they're going to have to buy back here if they want to keep the alive. But even if they do that, I I don't see them being able to stop this pressure. Maybe, maybe there's an overextension, but Static Storm was already used. Like they just don't have the team fight. They're gonna bring back Zhao Eight now, and oh, the clockwork is up there front and center, and they're dead. The ancient is falling. I don't know what exactly they're planning on doing. They can't really army slash either because there's too many creeps around. They have to style them immediately, splitting the damage out there. Just going to be able to take down all these kills and axe, trying to run away to no avail. Is going to be able to get another huge ravage, and the ancient falls. No OGG's call. A little bit of anger and resentment possibly flowing through the veins of newbie boss. Call that sailing. So we will be back in just a little bit, ladies and gents, uh, with our next series. It is Vici Gaming versus Vici Gaming J. See you guys in just a little bit.